to remove the trim around the uh, the nav screen, you're going to need these uh, plastic trim removal tools. I guess you can use a screwdriver, but these trim tools make life a lot easier, and you don't have to worry about marring anything. So I take uh, I take one of the long skinny ones, and if you find I find that if you pry it along the uh, the top edge here, kind of right next to the telephone uh, button, um, you can pop up pop off uh, one of the clips. Then once you get that up, you might want to have a dog bark. Uh, you might want to keep one in there and then use another piece of the tool and try to gently pry up the rest of the edge. And it'll come. Just uh, take your time, be patient, and then try to pull the rest of the trim out. Okay? Once you get the, uh, the trim off, you'll have access to these T10 uh, Torx screws that are on the top two corners and then the middle bottom. So loose to get to the bottom two screws, depending on what kind of tool you're using, might be hard to actually get to the uh, the bottom screws. So you're going to need to uh, push the screen out in order to get access. Uh, you also should use this time to go ahead and pull those fuses out so that the, uh, the nav screen stays locked in this position so you can pull it out uh, and keep it like that. So let's identify the fuse for the radio. With the nav. So open the glove box, and then there, uh, on the top, if you feel around, it's hard. It's a, a plastic clip. Push it, and then open up the fuse box. And you're going to want to identify fuse number seven. Now just look at the corresponding chart, and then find the fuse. It's going to be on the top row. All right. And you when you're ready out. to pull the rest of the fuses out, you go to the back of the truck, open up the door and you're going to remove fuses 72 through 75. And if you look at the corresponding chart, you'll see that 7, which we pulled before, 72, 73, 74, and 75, all correspond to the onboard monitor, the radio, and we'll pull those fuses out. Once you've removed all four screws, gently pull out the, uh, the navigation system, and be careful because there are wires behind it that you're going to want to unclip. Remove these wires, where that little gray lever or arm is, you're going to slide it towards the right or towards the base of the, uh, the nav screen, and the clip will pop out. And then it's loose, and then you'll be able to slide it out. So the same for the blue right, connector. Back into uh, your house, you're going to grab a very small screwdriver. You're going to remove the four screws uh, on the top and the back of the, uh, of the nav screen. Next, take a very small, thin, uh, flat screwdriver and pry up the lid from the unit and work it up. It's hard to do with one hand. Take your time Next, and get it right. Next, use a small Phillips screwdriver and remove the two screws that are on both sides of the nav. You to be very careful though because there's a ribbon cable that you can see uh, actually the screen. That, those ribbon cables uh, loop behind this wall if you will and connect to the, uh, connect to the underside of the, the nav screen. So be very careful when you remove it. I did the left side first, then I'm going to remove the right side and be careful when you uh, try to separate it from the um, from the back of the, the rest of the unit. So this next part is a little tricky. Uh, this is a top-down close-up view of where the ribbon cables are. I feel like a surgeon. You're going to take a set of needle-nose pliers and grab the very end. It's hard for me. To, well, here, I'll show you one, the one that I did already. You're going to grab the end and just lift up on each side and it'll loosen this top plastic piece. Do the one side, then do the other side, and then you'll be able to pick up or pull out the uh, the ribbon and uh, do it for both. And just be very careful, but it'll come out. Just use your set of needle nose pliers and pull up very gently on the very outer edge of the plastic. Pull straight up, one on each side a little bit at a time, it'll give, uh, and then you'll be able to pull out the ribbon. Next cables. you're going to remove the four screws that are on the back side of the LCD screen underneath the ribbon cable over here. And then you're going to want to make sure you remove the uh, the buttons in the front of the screen. Next, take a small Phillips screwdriver and un, uh, unscrew the the, um, the two wires that are holding in the light sensor. And then you can separate the, uh, the front screen from the rest of the LCD. So to remove the back plastic part of the nav screen away from the board, uh, use one of those trim removal kits and just gently uh, pry in between and it should lift right up and allow you to separate, watch the ribbon cable, uh, separate from the, um, the plastic from the LCD screen. Now you can access the back of the board where the screws are 
and you can remove the, uh, the LCD. Next, you want to remove all the uh, ribbon cables or the, 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 the connectors that are attached to the board. Um, be careful and make note of which go, what goes where, uh, and be very careful with prying these apart as they kind of get stuck, uh, and it's a little tricky to remove from Once the, you uh, the connectors. Once you all the little cables, um, pry, gently pry the, uh, the top part. Um, of the of the board away from the uh, the back part, uh, leave it open, uh, leave that ribbon cable back there, and uh, you're going to remove these little tiny screws that are holding the LCD screen. Once you loosen the screws, um, you want to manipulate the boards that you have access to the the um, where the ribbon cable directly attaches to the LCD, and you're going to use um, either the uh, needle nose pliers, just like we did before with the the top side of the um, of the uh, the nav unit. We're going to remove the little clip that holds um, the uh, ribbon cable in place. of the new LCD screen is pretty much reverse of, of uh, the other steps. Uh, wrap the wires, the new wires, behind the, um, the middle plate, uh, plating, uh, and then reconnect the ribbon cable, and then make sure you pro uh, push back the little plastic pin that uh, released the ribbon cable previously.